two, one. It's pretty good. <laughs> so what goes into designing the whole helmet? Yeah, the, great question. It's, it's a whole system. And so we've got different components. We have the metal face mask, we have the plastic shell, and then we also have the, the foam interior. And of course, each one of these has different properties. Um, and just overall, too, one thing we should say is that it was, it was actually All-Star who invented the hockey-style helmet uh, back in like around 1996, thereabouts. And so we really pioneered this whole space. And we really liked the hockey-style helmet because it gave a lot more protection. Because mm -hmm. so, so even before you even get to the, the properties, you start thinking about, well, you know, what are we trying to protect against? And so a, a traditional face mask is great at any kind of frontal impact from, you know, maybe a foul tip, you know, baseball coming back, hitting it but you're exposed on the side of your head to a backswing coming around and hitting you. So that was a big thing that, that we, we were really concerned about, is that you know, providing better protection along the, the side of the head and the jaw. So this is what we call the drop test, and we have the biometric head form in here with the helmet dropping on the vertical rails, and it's meant to simulate getting hit with a baseball bat. And so we simply say three, two, one, and it's a big thud and it's a pretty brutal impact, but that's what we do uh, in various standard locations and multiple random locations to try to find uh, you know, any hot spots, as we say, on the helmet. And if we do, we always try to improve them. And oftentimes, especially when we're working on a new product, whether it's a new uh, traditional face mask or if it's maybe a hockey-style helmet like this, is that the, the first prototype, it breaks. And we try to improve where it breaks to make it stronger, and then we, tr we test the next, next prototype, and it probably breaks in a different place. And it's a, it's a continual process until we feel very confident that anywhere we impact this, that it, it will stand uh, that abuse. Three, two, one. And that was pretty good. That was uh, 100.56 miles per hour. You first have the metal face mask, and if the ball hits here, there's an energy wave that starts propagating through here and then goes into the shell and then the padding. And so many years ago, we used to, to mount the face mask right here up on the forehead. But when you think about it, you really don't want that impact going right into your forehead. So we, we've moved the coupling further back, so the bolts are, are back here. So when you take an impact, it, it really dr drives the energy back to the helmet, not in your forehead. Three, two, one. <laughs>